Good afternoon, Bobcats. I'm Ryan. This is the BBTV News for Monday, October 17th, 2016. Hi Bobcats, I'm Drake, starting you off with our top stories of the day. Today we will feature a special news segment from Mrs. Winter's advanced media class. Check it out. Bubble Soccer was an event held on August 31st at Stonebridge Christian Church. Stonebridge had many activities, such as inflatables, gaga ball, nine square, and many other things to do. What is bubble soccer? Bubble soccer is this crazy game where you get in these inflatable bubbles and you just run into each other. And basically the objective is to score a goal, like a soccer goal. It's just like soccer, only like you're running into each other and it doesn't hurt because you're in these crazy like bubbles. It's awesome. What are you doing in this event? Uh, so this whole event, uh, we set up all kinds of different games. We got free food. Uh, bubble soccer is kind of the main attraction. Um, we just wanted to put on a really fun event and get people excited about the upcoming school year and be a part of Elevate every Wednesday night. What was the idea behind this event? Uh, we just wanted to put on a really fun event for 6th and 12th graders. Uh, just do something where people will be excited about it, want to invite their friends, and really just have a great time hanging out and get to know each other. How will it impact you up the club? Like kind of, so the purpose of the event was to just kind of bring the community together and hope that we can just raise awareness that, that we're here, that, that we want kids to be involved at our church. And so, um, basically, that's what we're hoping, is that, that kids get more involved here, that they come on Wednesday nights and they come on Sunday nights. During the event, we went out and found some students to get their opinion on the event. How was your experience with bubble soccer? It was pretty unique. Um, it was a lot heavier than I thought it would be, but it's a lot of fun and I recommend it for anybody. What do you think about this event? No! I think that it's a fun way for everybody to get together and I like all of the games. <laughs> what she said. What do you think about this event? This event is awesome. I love it every single year. It's pretty fun. It, it's pretty great. <laughs> what were your initial feelings? Um, when I first stepped in, uh, I felt, felt kind of like cramped. Uh, cramped in, it's a great time. But it was pretty, pretty easy to get used to. How did your feelings change towards the end? Um, I just like, I thought it was pretty fun. You know, I just sucked it up and had a blast. Once you start playing, it gets really fun. How did you hear about this event? Facebook. My church. My church and friends. From Advanced Media, this was Ashley and Avonlea reporting. Hi Bobcats, I'm Ariana and how did you do on today's quick quiz? Sometimes students who are really good at school or specific subjects like math, science, or technology sometimes feel like geeks or nerds. However, that's really not a bad thing, according to President Obama. I confessed, I am, I'm a science geek. I'm a nerd. Uh, and I don't make any apologies for it. I don't, I don't, I don't make any apologies for it. It's cool stuff. That's all for our top stories today. Now let's spin over to the BBTV Sports Zone. Good afternoon, Bobcats. I'm Christian, and you just entered the BBTV Sports Zone. First up in Buffett Sports, congratulations to the boys and girls cross country team. Seventh grade girls are in second place, eighth grade girls are in third place, seventh grade boys took third place, and eighth grade boys took fifth place. Congrats to Will Mullen, who won ninth place, and Jason Irwin, seventh place, of all the runners in the district. Also, congratulations to coaches Haley, McClintock, Sortino, and Little. Good afternoon, Bobcats. I'm Javon, and I'm here with the weather for the next few days. For today, there's a chance that we may have a new record high, with the temperature being 85 degrees, with a low of 53. 
Tomorrow it will be 80 degrees as the high and 63 as a low. On Wednesday, the temperature will be 80 degrees as the high and 62 degrees as the low. That's all for the forecast, Bobcats. Up next is our BBTV Future of the Day. Good afternoon, Bobcats. I'm Jay, and I'm here with the Future of the Day. Today, we'll be focusing on some pretty cool discoveries made by the Hubble Telescope. So how many galaxies does the universe contain? At least two trillion. That's at least 10 times more galaxies than previously thought. A team of international astronomers increased the estimate after analyzing data from NASA's Hubble Telescope and other observatories. They say most of these galaxies, 90%, are relatively small and faint. That's all for our future of the day. Now let's time for Buffett's announcement. Hi Bobcats, I'm Erin and I'm here with your daily announcements. First up, 7th and 8th graders. Are you interested in studying American, African American history in a team setting? Sign up for the African American History Challenge team. Practice begins October 22nd so don't delay. Sign up outside C205 and see Mrs. Thompson with any questions. No Place for Hate will have an informational meeting on Monday, October 17th at 2.45 p.m. Students will report to their Bobcat Den and then head to the library at 2.45. Good afternoon, Bobcats. I'm Kylie, and I'm here with the Before We Go segment. Don't you hate it when you have to do simple chores? Well, Joseph Hersher has the solution. While we can't show you the entire YouTube video, it's definitely pretty cool. Thanks for watching our broadcast today. I'm Ryan. Have a great Monday, and we'll see you tomorrow.